What's up, party people? Welcome to Yoga with Adrian. Today we have an awesome deepen and flow practice for you. This sequence offers a couple intermediate postures per your request, uh, an opportunity to move with the breath, vinyasa style, and get the heart rate going, maybe work up a little sweat. We offer tons of variations, so you can give it a try and just be very mindful, always making sure that your breath is not constricted, but full and happy and beautiful, just like you. All right, let's get started. Okay, today we're going to begin in child's pose. So yogi's choice, but I'm gonna take the knees wide to start and fingertips towards the front edge of the mat. You can also bring the knees together for a traditional balasana. So come into a child's pose of your choice. And if child's pose is not a pose that suits you or your body, then you can come to a nice comfortable seat. Welcome everyone. Take a second to close your eyes and notice your breath. Nothing fancy in the breath here, just noticing. Naturally, just bringing your awareness to your breath. It begins to shift and change. Take a moment to set an intention for your practice today. Something positive that will serve you in the present moment. Then take a deep breath in, confirming your intention, considering it already done, already so. Big breath out. Good, hard part is over, showing up. You've shown up on your mat, shown up for yourself. What's more beautiful? And celebrate that by deepening the breath, appreciating the body by deepening the breath, appreciating your spirit, your soul by deepening the breath. Make your inhalations longer. And then try to even out with the exhales. So your breath in and your breath out become even and steady. And then keep that conversation, nice even breath going as you slowly press up and come back to a lifted head. Just take a second to lift the chin towards the front edge of your mat and then draw the chin into the chest, waking up the head. So just nodding the head yes here and then no, taking the nose to the right, stretch, and then to the left, stretch. Sweet, then continuing the journey upward, we press into the tops of the feet, and we're gonna walk the knees right underneath the hip points. Find a nice tabletop position here. Wrists underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. Find length through the crown of the head, spread the fingertips super wide. Again, hard part is over. You've shown up, you started the video, so let's stay committed to ourselves, committed to the practice. Curl the toes under here, and then press into all of the toes, even the pinky toe, really stretching through the feet. Notice if you're collapsing the shoulder blades here, find that lift. Lift your heart. Maybe it feels like you're doming through the upper back body. Tug the shoulders away from the ears here, and then experiment with having your elbow creases maybe shining towards the front edge of your mat. Then uncurl the toes and inhale, drop the belly, shine your heart forward. Exhale, rounding through the spine, cat cow. Inhale, big stretch through the front body. And exhale, rounding through. Inhale, cow pose, press into all 10 knuckles, press into the tops of the feet. Exhale, cat, arch your back like a black Halloween cat. Really stretch, navel up. And one more, inhale. And exhale, rounding through. Great, keep the feet and the hands where they are. And just gently bump your hips to the left and then take your nose and draw a line all the way around to the right side of your yoga mat. Try to look back at your right heel. 
Notice if your right foot's coming in. See if you can keep it still in line with your right knee. Big stretch here. Press away from your yoga mat. Your arms might be starting to tremble if you haven't been on all fours in a while. Welcome back or welcome to your yoga mat. Big breath in here. And then exhale to slowly slide it through center. And then we take it to the other side. Bump the hips to the right. Send the nose to the left. Big stretch here. Try to keep an awareness. Your hands and feet should stay where they were on all fours, in all fours. Big stretch here, inhale. And exhale back to center. Take a rest by drawing the elbows down right where the hands were and keeping nice railroad tracks here. So the wrists are gonna wanna come in, the hands are gonna splay out, so keep a mindfulness. And then heart to earth pose, Anahata Asan. Big stretch, awesome for the shoulders. We walk the knees straight back. So they're gonna wanna walk in. Some might wanna walk out. See if you can keep them in line. So we're really paying attention to detail here in the foundation and in our alignment. Keeping the wrists in line with the elbows and the ankles in line with the knees. Forehead may not come to the earth here if you're super tight in the shoulders. So you can bring a blanket or a block here or you can just hover breathing deep. Try to melt your heart towards your knees. And if you're feeling any pinch at all in the shoulder girdle, go ahead and come up off and take a rest. Or you might even try widening your elbows just a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Then everyone, activate through your palms. Find that hand to earth connection. Big stretch here as you melt the heart back. Hips up high, tailbone really reaches towards the sky. Now connect to an ujjayi breath here, if you will. Soft restriction in the back of the throat. And then support this big stretch and this experience with your mind and your body with the breath. Let it guide you. Maybe connecting to ujjayi breath here. And then on your next inhale, press into the tops of the feet, press into your elbows, press into the palms, and slide all the way through into a sphinx pose here. Walk the elbows right underneath the shoulders once again, and then the feet should stay exactly where they are in line with the hips, just pressing into the earth, pressing pubic bone down. Then there's a, a common, it's, there's a tendency here to just kind of anchor and lift from here. Today, I'd like to invite you to tuck the chin into the chest, hug the lower ribs in, so I'm exaggerating here, but they're kind of coming up here. And then from there, roll up into your sphinx. So rolling up by tucking the chin into the chest. And then you might stop here, just keeping the neck nice and long rather than clinching here. So really creating space. Arms are getting tired, I know. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Toning muscle, strengthening, opening. Tug the shoulders away from the ears. And then one more time, we'll nod the head gently. Yes, very gently. And then no, to the right and to the left. Yeah, great, beautiful. Slowly, we're gonna release everything. Elbows come out wide. And then your fists come to like a bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish situation here. And you rest the forehead on the fists here. If that doesn't feel good, palms for a pillow. <laughs> palms for a pillow. It's like alms for the poor. And then really fancy yoga move here. We just lift the toes up. So you bend at the knees. You're just gonna swing the legs side to side. Ah, and so we begin to find space, length in the waist. If you are a runner or an athlete, this is really great on your quads and your hips, your psoas, really nice. Really fancy yoga move here, love it. Continue to deepen the breath. And we'll bring the knees back in line with the hips. Bring the tops of the feet down. Palms underneath the shoulders. Curl the toes under, lift your kneecaps, tone your quads, and then engage the belly here. So tighten the belly, draw the navel up towards your spine. Inhale, press up to top of a push-up. Exhale, downward dog. Beautiful, so take your dog for a walk here. 
Remember that length in the side body, that softness, easiness in the neck, that awareness in the feet and the hands, and that attention to detail in the joints, how they stack, etc. And then we'll take it for a nice slow walk up towards the front of your mat. Eventually stepping the feet together right at the top. Arch to arch, bend the knees and take a big generous forward fold. So big bend in the knees here, big stretch in the lower back body. Big inhale in. Big exhale as you root down through the feet, tuck the chin into the chest and ragdoll to roll it up. Channel your sixth grade theater arts class here. Find the joy, smile, and we'll roll up to mountain. Come into your best and most beautiful mountain pose here, really rooting down through the feet and finding that lift of energy up through the full body. And right away, we're gonna reach the fingertips behind the ears today and reach up towards the sky. Interlace the fingertips and keep the index finger pointing forward here. And then pull the thumbs back just a hair. Now inner thighs have this inner rotation in towards each other. Go ahead and lengthen the tailbone down to find that support in the torso and the back body. Hug the lower ribs in. Close your eyes, deep breaths here. Find that length, that space between the ear lobes and the shoulders. And then one more breath, you got it. Great for circulation here. On an exhale, release and take it all the way down. Forward fold. Inhale to lift up halfway. Go ahead and slide the palms to the tops of the thighs for this first one. Loop the shoulders, pull back with the elbows like little grasshopper legs and find length through the torso. Find that containment again here, that support of hugging the lower ribs in, navel up towards the spine. Tuck the chin, think sphinx pose here in the neck, so nice and long. Big breath, hello plant. And then exhale, forward fold. Great, bend the knees, plant the palms, step the right toes back, then step the left toes back, come into a nice strong plank pose. Now the mantra here is I am strong, or you can quietly say to yourself, I can, I will, I choose, I am strong. Then slowly lower the knees or stay lifted, loop the shoulders, hug the elbows into the side body, chaturanga or chaturanga practice. This is what chaturanga practice looks like with the knees down, elbows hugging in, gaze forward. Find that containment, hug the lower ribs in, navel to spine and slowly lower down, elbows hugging into the side body. Then inhale, cobra. Exhale to release. Curl the toes under, lift the kneecaps, inhale, press up to plank. Big exhale sends you to downward facing dog. Great, deep breath in here. And long exhale out, maybe through the mouth. Great, anchor through the left heel and on a big breath in, lift the right leg up high towards the sky. Take a second to, to just roll around here to move with your breath, maybe big circles with the knee, you might stack the hips, right hip over the left. See if you can draw your right shoulder in line with your left as you play here, rotating the ankle, waking up the body. And then connect to your strength, cultivate strength. Hug the right knee all the way in towards the nose. Try to touch your right heel to your right glute and hollow through the upper back body here. Big breath in. Big breath out as you step the right foot up. Great, go ahead and lower the back knee. Take your right thumb to your right hip crease and allow that to pull you all the way up. Great, left fingertips are gonna reach all the way up towards the sky. And then we're gonna reach towards and, and maybe past the front right corner of your yoga mat. Outer edge of the left hand or the left arm come to the outer edge of the left leg. Great, and then keep your right thumb pulling you back as you start to look towards the back right corner of your yoga mat. Breathe deep, getting a nice foot stretch here, opening up through the hips. Keep that connection to your lower ribs. One more breath. Great, and then exhale, release. 
half split. Ardha Hanumanasan, beautiful runner stretch here as we pull the right hip crease back, flex the right toes towards the sky. Soft in the neck, you can sway a little bit here, breathe deep. Maybe play with that wave, that extension through the spine. One more breath here. And then slowly rolling through the right foot. We plant the palms, curl the back toes under, lift that back knee. Step the right foot back, lower the knees if you like here, or this time maybe you keep them lifted. As you shift your gaze forward, hug the elbows into the side body, chaturanga practice, belly to cobra, or chaturanga to upward facing dog. Inhale, everyone open your heart, and exhale, back to down dog. So everyone's vinyasa will look and feel a little bit different. You can make it your own, move nice and slow. And since it is vinyasa, move with intention, move with your breath. Here we go, drop the right heel down, inhale, lift the left leg up high. Couple breaths here to roll around, find what feels good. Be mindful, move with your breath, big circles, maybe stacking the hips. Rotating the ankle. And then connect to your power. Here we go. Nose to knee. Really hollowing through the upper back body and trying to touch left heel to left glute. You got this. Inhale in. Exhale. Step it up. Lower the right knee. Stack front knee over front ankle. Here we go. Left thumb comes to the left hip crease. Let that pull you back. We kind of scissor the legs. Find that lift from the center uh, mula bandha, the lift from the pelvic floor. So it's as if we're trying to pull the front and the back of the mat together. And then here we go. Lift right fingertips all the way up towards the sky. Big side body stretch here. And then exhale, reaching towards or past the front left corner of your yoga mat. Great. Outer edge of the right arm or right hand to the outer edge of your left thigh or leg. Just wherever it falls, you'll find it. And then maybe we take a gander back at the back left corner of your mat. So this is going to want to come through. I want to keep the hips in alignment. Breathe. One more big breath here. You got it. And then we release. Palms come to the mat or fingertips. Send the hips back. Flexion in the left foot. So send those left toes really up towards the sky. Try to tug back with your left heel. And then a couple moments here to play. One more breath here. And on an exhale, rolling through that left foot. Plant the palms, lift the back knee, and send the left toes back. Move through a vinyasa, something that feels good for you. You can always skip it and send it straight to downward facing dog. Inhale is the cobra or the up dog. Exhale is what takes you back. Adho Mukha. Big breath in here, big breath out. Bend the knees, inhale, look forward. On an exhale, hop, jump, float to the top, or simply step one foot up, followed by the other. Forward to fold. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale to soften and bow, follow your breath. Bend the knees softly, inhale, spread the fingertips, reach for the sky, full body stretch. And exhale, hands to heart. For a moment here, close your eyes and observe your breath. Notice how you feel. And find a soft bend in the knees again and inhale, reach it up. Exhale, down you go, forward fold. Inhale to lift halfway. Exhale to bow. Bend the knees, plant the palms, step the right toes back, followed by the left. Vinyasa. Send it all the way down. Belly to cobra or chaturanga to up dog. We'll meet in our downward facing dog. Awesome. So this time I'm going to anchor through the left heel and right away inhale, lift the right leg up high. 
Exhale, nose to knee. And then step it up, lower the back knee, and we'll inhale, reach both fingertips up high, pulling that right hip crease back. So imagining your right thumb there still. And you can keep the back toes curled under or come onto the top of the foot, whatever feels more stable. Take a big beach ball up and over the head, inhale in. Then exhale, rain it down. We're gonna interlace the fingertips and draw the knuckles down and then away. So move nice and slow, down and away, holding strong foundation here. Consider that scissoring effect here. You're trying to take the front of your mat and the back of your mat, pull it to the middle. Big stretch, big opening, big breaths. Knuckles reach down and away, whoa, down and away. <laughs> if you close your eyes, hold on to your foundation. Great, inhale, lift the chin. Maybe a back bend here, breathe deep. Exhale to release. Uh, belly comes to the top of the thigh first, left palm to your yoga mat. Big twist here, inhale, reach for the sky. You can lift that back knee if you like here, really stretching left heel towards the back edge. Inhale in, draw the shoulders away, squeeze right knee in towards the center line. On an exhale, rain it down. Beautiful, plant the palms, step the right toes back and move through a flow. And downward dog, take a nice rejuvenating breath in and a big exhale out through the mouth. <sighs> Drop the right heel and inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, nose to knee, strong. Great, step it up, lower the right knee and crescent whenever you're ready. Inhale, reaching the fingertips forward, up and back. Anjani Asana, imagine your left thumb there and your left hip crease. Find that scissor effect as you lift the fingertips up. Big beach ball up and overhead. Keep lifting up through the heart. Then then exhale, rain it down. Squeeze inner thighs to the midline. Interlace the fingertips, opposite thumb on top this time. Knuckles draw down and then away. Again, down and then away, opening up through the chest. Notice if you're kind of dumping all your weight here. See if you can, again, consider bringing the front edge and the back edge of your yoga mat in towards the center. So strong activation here, going a little bit deeper, stage by stage, layer by layer. And on your next breath, lift the chin slightly up. You might take a little back bend here. And then exhale, gently release, belly to the thigh. Right hand comes in line with your left foot. And you find your twist. Maybe you lift the back knee or it can stay lowered. Left fingertips reach towards the sky. So again, in this posture, imagining that left thumb there, pulling the left hip back. Big breath in. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Reach your right heel towards the back edge. On an exhale, we rain it down. Plant the palms, step the left toes back, move through a vinyasa or feel free to skip it and send it straight to downward facing dog. We're gonna be here for three breaths. Feel free to take these next three breaths in child's pose. Close your eyes and experience your body and your breath here today. Stay present. Awesome, if you're in child's pose, make your way to down dog. In down dog, we'll slowly bend the knees, inhale, look forward. On an exhale, hop, jump, float to the top or simply step one foot up at a time. Forward fold. Inhale to lift halfway, loop the shoulders, find length. And exhale, soften and bow. Press into the earth, bend the knees, spread the fingertips super wide, root to rise here as you inhale, reach for the sky. Big breath and big stretch. Exhale, hands to heart. Big inhale in. Exhale out. Keep it going with the breath. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, enjoy this move, down you go. Inhale to lift halfway, long, beautiful neck. Exhale, find something new here, soften and bow. 
bend the knees, plant the palms. You can step one foot back at a time or on this round, we might hop it back. Top of a push-up. Soft, buoyant elbows here, not locked ever, especially in a hop back. Then move through a vinyasa here or take it straight to downward facing dog. Cultivating strength, moving with intention, moving with your breath. And in down dog, we'll drop the left heel and inhale, lift the right leg up high. Right knee to right elbow as you exhale, shift your gaze forward so the upper body is in plank. Then inhale, three-legged dog, anchor through the left heel, cultivate strength, only two more of these. Cross it over, right knee to right elbow. Upper body's in plank, long neck. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, tap into that core, nose to knee. And then step it up. Beautiful, pivot on the back foot. Imagine that right thumb and your right hip crease as you sweep the arms up, warrior one. Big beach ball overhead, nice strong power through that back foot, so really reaching into the outer edge of that back foot, lifting up through the arch. Breathe deep here. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, rain it down. Interlace the fingertips behind. Once again, think down with the knuckles and away, open through the chest. Strong breaths, strong foundation. Inhale, lift your heart, slight back bend here, optional. Exhale, humble warrior. So we'll start to pull the right hip crease back, keep the power of the back leg, front knee over front ankle, and bring the belly to the tops of the thighs, crown of the head reaching forward. If you feel pretty good here, you can just stay here. Working hard, breathing, finding a little bit of grace here as we build strength, trying to marry the effort and the ease. If you wanna take it further, You'll continue to the next stage by drawing the crown of the head down towards the earth, really reaching the knuckles up towards the sky, keeping the legs active and strong. Humble warrior, breathe into it with all your soul. We're working to get the right hamstring parallel to the mat, but in time, so just do your best. Then slowly connect to your center, your core strength as you press into the feet. Charge the inner thighs and slowly roll it up. We'll return back to warrior one. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, pivot on the back foot. Lift the heel and then send it back. High lunge. Inhale in, smile. Exhale, rain it down. Pyramid pose. Straighten through the front leg. Step the back foot up halfway. Take a couple breaths here, letting the weight of the head relax over. Keep an awareness in your shoulders and in your jaw, careful not to clinch. Great, softly bend the right knee, step the left toes back, return to your nice low lunge. Inhale, look forward, and then exhale, plant the palms, step the right toes back, straight to down dog, or we flow. Right onto the other side, we got this. Drop the right heel, inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, gaze straight down. Inhale, nice and slow, lift it up. Exhale, crossing over, left knee to right elbow, try to touch it. Inhale, big breath, lifts you up. Exhale, nose to knee, navel draws up. Then go ahead and step it up. Pivot on the back foot, make it to your warrior one in your own time. Find your breath. Big beach ball overhead, outer edge of the back foot strong. So set yourself up for greatness, lengthen the tailbone down. So if you're building a house, you wouldn't wanna skimp on the foundation, right? You wanna really pay attention to what's happening from the ground up. This is how we stay safe and how we evolve in our bodies too and I think our minds, but don't take my word for it. Big breath, exhale, rain it down. Interlace behind, opposite thumb on top as last time. And then knuckles draw down and away. We open up through the chest. Really press into the outer edge of that right foot strong. Keep breathing. Maybe you just stay here, or we continue the journey by inhaling, lifting the chin slightly. 
finding that length in the front body and then keeping it as we pull the left hip crease back. Belly comes to the top of the thigh, front knee over front ankle here, crown of the head, fireballs forward. Stay here or continue the journey down whenever you're ready. Humble warrior, nice and slow. Staying present in the sensations of the body, keeping the right inner thigh engaged as the crown of the head comes down to the earth. Knuckles reach up high, strong and steady. Careful not to grip the toes. Breathe deep. One more breath, really reach your hands towards the ceiling. And then connect to your strength, build that power as you hug the lower ribs in and come back to your warrior one, nice and slow. We'll release great rinse of the, the blood here. Rinse of the blood. Big warrior one. Inhale, exhale, pivot on the back foot, lift your right heel and we sink deep, high lunge. Big stretch through the front of the right hip crease. Inhale in, exhale, rain it down. Then straighten that back foot and might step that back foot up a little more for pyramid pose. Take a couple moments here to relax through the head, the neck, let the weight of the head round over. But remember that lift in the hip crease. Sweet, softly bend through the left knee, send your right toes back. Nice low lunge as you inhale, look forward, let your heart radiate towards the front. And then exhale, plant the palms, move through a vinyasa or feel free to take a break. So we'll take three breaths in child's pose. So you can lower to the knees. Take a rest, fingertips behind. If you wanna stay in your downward dog, if you're wanting to get the heart rate going more and keep it going, feel free to rest in down dog. Three breaths here. Soften your gaze or close your eyes. Work to stay present in the moment. After three breaths, bring your hands back up. Make your way back to downward facing dog. That's where we will all meet. Big breath in, big breath out. So walk the toes up a little bit, little detox for you here, strengthening and detox as we press into both palms evenly. Really press in between the fleshy part between the index finger and thumb, those two L shapes, and then draw the shoulders away from the ears. Then slowly we'll release the right hand, picking it up and taking it over for a down dog twist, either grabbing the outer edge of the left um, leg here <laughs> or the ankle. And if you want to go a little deeper, you can bend the right elbow and take your gaze underneath your left forearm. Breathe deep here. And then gently release back to center. And we'll take it to the other side. Feel free to take a rest in between. Looking underneath the right armpit chest here and bending the left elbow to go deeper. Or maybe just take your hand to your pant leg here. Breathe deep. Press into the fleshy part between the index finger and the thumb. Breathe into your belly. One more breath. And then exhale, release. Awesome. Step the right foot up, followed by the left. Forward fold. So we're going to walk the hands underneath the feet here for a nice uh, relief in the wrists. So the toes are going to be right where the wrist creases are. Toes come to the wrist creases. And you can widen your stance so you have more stability here. And then rock front and back. Nice stretch through the arm here, relaxing the weight of the head over. Stick with it. Stay focused. It's worth it this exploration and the challenging moments to lean in. Hmm. And we'll gently release. Inhale, halfway lift, so lengthen. And then exhale, fold. Press into the earth, all four corners of the feet, spread your hands and inhale, reach for the sky. Big breath here. 
Exhale, hands to heart. All right, here we go. We're gonna walk the feet together, arch to arch, then give yourself a little bit of space between your heels. Itty bitty living space, right there. Then spread awareness throughout the feet. Hands come back to heart if they aren't still there. And we're gonna send the hips back. So rather than bending the knees, think about sending the hips back first. So it's this first. And then bend the knees as you come into Utkatasana. Great, lift your sternum towards your thumbs, active in the arms here. Great, so we're coming in a little Utkatasana variation. Hug the lower ribs, try to sit back into your heels. You might even lift the toes to test that. Fierce posture here, here we go. I'm gonna shift my way to the left foot and gently cross right ankle over the top of the left thigh. Keep this right foot active, press away. Remember that big collapse uh, in the hips, we're pulling the left hip crease back, keep that maintained here. So it's gonna to wanna to spiral forward and we keep it pulling back, stacked. Breathe. Now hold on to your sweet breath, long, even breaths, best you can. Stay focused, stay calm. So here we go. Inhale, lift sternum to thumb. And then slowly exhale, I'm gonna release the ankle, hug right knee in towards the chest. Inhale in again, then exhale, send the fingertips back, airplane arms, and slowly push your right foot back towards an imaginary wall behind you, warrior three. Open the chest, we've done lots of opening here. Fine length, lift from your right inner thigh. Press into the earth here with your hands, so imagine pressing up and away, create more length. Tuck the chin, remember that sphinx pose. And then here we go, slowly drawing the hands back together, knee back to the heart, soft bend in that left knee. Cross it over, beautiful. Two more of these, let's play. Here we go. Moving with your breath, inhale, catch my breath. And in your own time, keep breathing. Right knee squeezes in. On an exhale, send the fingertips back, airplane arms. I play here, moving, warrior three. Nice and slow. And when you're ready, reel it back in, full body strengthener here, stay focused, do your best. Palms come together, back at the heart. Anjali Mudra, we lift the right knee up and in. Cultivate strength, cross the right ankle over. Maybe sit a little deeper. All right, one more time, we got this, here we go. Squeezing, right knee all the way up and in. Keep breathing, send it back, warrior three. If you wanna take an arm variation on this one, you can. Big breath in, dial your right toes down. Tug the shoulders away from the ears, big breath. And then exhale, reel it in. Palms come together at the heart. Squeeze right knee all the way up. This time we're gonna reach all the way up to a one-legged Tadasana. And then exhale, let everything go. <sighs> Mountain pose. Close your eyes. This time try not to fidget. <sighs> Find stillness. Feel. <laughs> mm. Crazy prana moving throughout the body. Here we go. Take your gaze down, same thing on the other side, and then we're gonna cool it off. Little bit of space between the heels. Hands come together at the heart. Find control of your breath. Then bending at the waist here, send the hips back, keep the sternum lifted, so not collapsed. And then we'll bend the knees. Try to send some weight back into your heels. And go through your checklist here. And then when you're ready, shift your weight to your right foot. Slowly peel up through the left. Squeeze left knee up towards the heart. And then cross your left ankle over. Maybe sink a little deeper. Friendly little moth in my room. Could be a guardian angel, you never know. Here we go, squeezing left knee up towards the heart. Play with warrior three, you got this. Kick the left foot back, send the fingertips back, airplane arms, 110% full body experience here. Tug the shoulders away from the ears, contain through the center, strong core. Now reel it in nice and slow, squeezing left knee up towards the heart, bending through your standing leg, you got this. Palms come together, Anjali Mudra at the heart, and then we cross it over, figure four, big hip stretch. Careful not to grip your right toes. All right, two more, we got this. Inhale, 
Exhale, release, squeeze. Left knee up towards the heart. Warrior three, send the fingertips back, crown of the head forward, kick back. Left toes, point towards the ground. So you can come to point the toes here, but I like to teach it like this so that the hip drops so that you're not open like half moon. Great, here we go, reel it in. Connect to your core. Palms come together, sink deep, you got this. Crossing left ankle over the right, relax your shoulders. One more, inhale. Exhale, let's do this. Squeeze the left knee up towards the heart, strong and steady. Warrior three, we explore, we play. You might take another arm variation this time. Lift your right hip crease up. Remember that right thumb in the right hip crease. Beautiful, and then wherever you are, make your way back. Palms come together. We squeeze that left knee up towards the heart. Last time, crossing left ankle over the right. Sink deep. And then one-legged Tadasana, all the way up, reach with everything you've got, and then exhale, replace the left foot down, and close your eyes and let go. Take a big breath in through the nose, and exhale, sigh it out. Two more like that, let go of some heat, any frustration, any tension, one more time. Let it go. And last time, inhale, reach it up. Keep soft fingers this time. Exhale, soften and bow. Again, taking out all the heart edges, keep it soft. Inhale, halfway lift, gently. Exhale, release. And we're gonna walk the feet out all the way to the edges of the mat. Allow the toes to gently spill off your yoga mat, so open the toes, and then use your fingertips as you bend the knees and take your center down. And slowly lift the heart here. Keep the fingertips on your mat if you need them or draw them, palms together once again at the heart. And you're gonna find that your arms can press back on your legs here and you're gonna let them really press back on the legs as you squeeze the legs into the arms. We're definitely creating a little resistance here. If the heels don't come all the way down, no worries, just keep them lifted. Nice foot stretch, froggy pose. And close your eyes and find an ujjayi breath here. Draw the shoulder blades together and lift your heart even more. Go deeper. Then release. And fingertips are going to come behind. And slow and steady wins the race here, being mindful of the knees as we come to a seat. And then we're going to bring the knees together here and lift the shins parallel to the ceiling. So going right into it. So you can catch your wrists here and completely use your arm strength here to help support. I love that, that's not cheating. There's no cheating in yoga. This is find what feels good, and if this feels good, rock it out here. So this is one stage. Next layer would be to maybe release the arms and turn the palms face up, really opening through the shoulders, but keeping the shoulders plugged in here. So you can reach and plug, reach and plug to feel that. Little core strength here to finish off, a little more core strength. Here we go. Go ahead and cross the ankles. I'm gonna inhale, reach the fingertips up high. And then exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Hover, little half boat. I know I said all the way down, I lied. And then all the way up, bend the knees, squeeze. And only three of these, you got this. Inhale to lift. And exhale, last one. Inhale to lift, uncross. Gently release, soles of the feet to the ground. Take the hands to the backs of the thighs and then take your time, this should feel really good. Starting with the tail, scooping under, slowly lower, come all the way to the back. Take a nice full body stretch. Fingertips up and overhead, should feel awesome. And then exhale, float the hands down. Inhale, squeeze the right knee up towards your heart. Exhale. Take the right knee over towards the left side of your yoga mat, supine twist. Right arm extends if you have the room, and we breathe deep here, start to cool down. Close your eyes. Begin to soften and surrender. Notice where you're gripping. And gently melting it back to the center line. 
squeezing right knee all the way up. And then switching, extend through the right leg. Left knee comes all the way up. We squeeze in towards the heart. Take a nice big solid breath in and then use your exhale to guide the left leg over towards the right side of your yoga mat, opening up into your twist on the other side. Should feel awesome. Notice in the places where you're gripping here and see if you can soften and begin to relax. Great, and slowly rock it back. Go ahead and lift both knees here. Walk the heels up towards the sitting bones. Inhale, exhale, press into the feet, toes pointing forward, begin to lift from the tail. Knees go forward, hips lift up high. Think about sending your sitting bones towards the backs of your knees as you come into Setu Bandhasana, bridge pose. Pressing into all four corners of the feet. Imagine a block between your inner thighs, so you're really squeezing the inner thighs together. Then keep your gaze right up for now. No need to look at the video here. I'll talk you through this, lifting the hips a little higher. See that you can interlace the fingertips behind the tail. Press down into the earth, reach your knuckles towards your heels. Then last but not least, keep breathing deep here. Lift your chest to your chin and your chin towards the sky. Chest to your chin and your chin towards the sky. One more big breath in, fill it up. And then exhale, release everything with control, with grace, slowly lower down. Awesome work. Take the hands, press up off the toes, catch your knees, and then just a gentle lengthening here. Should feel good in the lower back body. So knees together or hip width apart, you're gonna reach your knees forward. Find a flushness of the lower back on the mat. So if I were to reach my hand underneath my lower back, I cannot. It's nice and stamped down to the mat. And a couple more breaths here. And you're welcome to take it to happy baby here, grabbing the outer edges of the feet or the inner arches for a stirrup posture. Or maybe you'd like to take a more restorative hip opener here, uh, reclined cobbler's pose. Or maybe you are ready to head straight to Shavasana. So take a couple breaths to find what feels good and eventually we'll make our way to our final and most precious posture, the corpse pose with the legs out long and the arms resting gently, palms face up at your side. Really awesome work today, so make sure that you seal the deal and end this ritual with a uh, corpse pose, an opportunity to allow the nutrients of your practice to settle in, but also to just balance out the energy, right? For years I was going to these power yoga classes and was kind of stressed out all the time and I realized that my energy, I was making myself quite frazzled. So it's nice to move the body and then we need to take a second to honor it and balance it out and restore. So close your eyes. When you arrive in Shavasana, take a deep breath in. And on an exhale, allow the weight of your body, muscle and bone, to relax completely and fully. Give yourself permission here to do absolutely nothing If you're on the membership site, you have a nice extended Shavasana here. I encourage you to milk it, enjoy the whole thing. And wherever you are watching this and practicing this, I send you love and invite you to stay here for a couple moments even after I'm gone. Which I'm not really gone, I'm always here. Just kidding. And once again, honoring your body and your practice by sealing the ritual with a surrender, stillness. Thanks again for sharing your time and your energy with me and the Yoga with Adrian community. I'll see you next time. From my heart to yours, namaste.